Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about Ultrabooks. These are a new breed of lightweight portable computer and in a few years may dominate the laptop market. All Ultrabooks have to comply with a hardware specification laid down by Intel. This requires laptop manufacturers to shrink their computers to less than 21mm thick to make them resume from sleep in just a few seconds, to provide at least 5 hours battery life and to include anti-theft technology. Most Ultrabooks also use an SSD rather than a traditional spinning hard drive, weigh not much more than a kilogram and are housed in a designer casing made from a material such as aluminium or carbon fibre. Although Intel came up with the Ultrabook specification and is heavily marketing the brand, it's not going to manufacture Ultrabooks itself. Rather, its intention is to ensure that a new generation of ultra-thin, ultra-light laptops from a wide range of other manufacturers will deliver a consistent user experience. Toward the end of 2011, many manufacturers launched first-generation Ultrabooks. These included machines from Acer, Asus, Lenovo and Toshiba. Here, for example, is Toshiba's Z830. This has a 13.3 inch screen and features either an i3 or i5 processor, a 1 to 8 GB solid state drive, and either 4 or 6 GB of RAM. Despite being only 16 mm thick, the machine has good connectivity with a USB 3 port, Ethernet connector, two USB 2 ports full-size HDMI and VGA sockets, audio connectors and a full-size SD card reader. Housed in its magnesium alloy casing, the Z830 weighs in at just 1.12 kilograms. Like all Ultrabooks, the Z830 therefore takes lightweight, Windows-based portable computing to the next level. Today, Ultrabooks have a luxury price tag. However, by about 2014, they should cost little more than a traditional laptop. Indeed, by that time, the label Ultrabook will probably disappear as all laptops take on Ultrabook features. More information on portable computing can be found in the mobile section of explainingcomputers.com. For more information on Ultrabooks, I'd also recommend ultrabooknews.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.